touchdown in Santiago, and another rockstar welcome for Pope Francis. Crowds of the faithful and government and religious officials waited eagerly to welcome the pontiff. Earlier he had praised the sacrifices of the Catholic Church in Cuba. It has slowly won the right to do charitable work on the island, after decades of hostility with former leader Fidel Castro's regime. Thousands of people lined the streets to see him in his famous Pope mobile. Even the rain couldn't dampen their spirits. We are all very emotional. Look, his mercy is already spilling out after all these days of drought. So there, Francis has arrived. He brings faith with him for our people to change. And I hope my granddaughter will have a better future with the Pope's visit. The Pope's key role in brokering a thaw between Cuba and the U.S. has hugely added to his popularity on the island. After celebrating Mass on Tuesday morning in Santiago and blessing the city, the Pope will leave to the United States, where his itinerary includes stops at the White House, the U.S. Congress and the U.N. General Assembly.